In an amusement park ride called the Rotor Ride, riders would enter a cylindrical room and stand against the wall. Then the room begins to spin faster and faster until it reaches a certain speed. Then the room is kept spinning at that same speed while the floor drops down. Somehow the riders stay pinned against the wall, spinning with the room without sliding down. In this problem, the rotor ride cylinder has a radius of 1.9 meters and has a top spin rate of 30 RPM. The RPM here stands for revolutions per minute. We're looking for the minimum mu s between the rider's clothing and the wall so the riders do not slip down. This problem is not quite so much like the other problems we worked on, but uh, you'll be able to solve it if you just follow the problem solving procedures. Okay, the direction of acceleration first. The person is doing circular motion in a horizontal circle. So his uh, acceleration is the centripetal acceleration going towards the center, and the center is that way. So the acceleration goes towards the center. And then let's draw the force diagram. There's the non-contact force, mg. We don't know the mass of the person, so hopefully the mass will cancel. The person is touching contact surface, the wall. Now this contact surface will give a normal force. This normal force from the wall pushes on the person to the left. So the normal force goes that way. And there is friction, but if the person is not sliding, that means it's static friction, which is against the tendency to slide. This person has a tendency to slide which way? This person has a tendency to slide downward because of the mg. So the static friction must go upward. The person is not touching anything else, so we're done with the force diagram. Now we can write the net force equals to ma. We want to find the mu s. The only equation that involves mu s is the friction equals to mu s times normal force. So in order to find the mu s, we will need both the normal force and the friction. That means we need both the x and the y directions. So let's start with the x direction. In the x direction, the net force there is only one normal force, so the net force is uh, normal force, and that equals to ma. The acceleration in the x direction is the centripetal acceleration, so we can use uh, v squared over r. So this uh, m stays as m because it's not given. And the speed, now we don't know the speed, although we are given information so that we can find the speed. And the radius is uh, 1.9. So let's find the speed. The speed is the distance traveled divided by the time. And in this case, uh, since we know 30 revolutions per minute, it would be convenient for us to look at uh, 60 seconds, one minute. The distance traveled in one minute is uh, 30 revolutions which means the 30 circumferences. So it's 30 times the circumference 2 pi r. And the r is 1.9 meters. This gives us a speed that's 5.97 meters per second. So that's where we put the speed, 5.97. And that means this gives us this part here, is 18.8. So be m times 18.8 or m 18.8 times m. That's the x direction. The y direction, what is the acceleration in the y direction? This acceleration has no y component. So the y direction acceleration is zero. That means the upward and downward forces, they must be equal. So that means uh, m times g, I'm going to use 10 for g, we leave the m there, 
And uh, so now we have normal force in terms of m, friction in terms of m, and uh, we want to find the mu s. So we use that only equation that has the mu s. So that will be mu times the normal force equals to friction. Friction is the m times 10. We don't know the mu. We're looking for mu. And normal force is 18.8 .8 times the mass. So as we expected to have, the mass cancels. And this way, we can find the mu to be 0.53. And uh, since it's a static friction, that's mu s. And this is the minimum mu s. OK, now over here, I didn't write it down, but uh, we're looking for a minimum mu s. It means uh, if the mu s is the minimum value, we must be using the maximum possible friction for that mu s. That's why this works. So the mu s between the rider's closing and the wall has to be at least 0.53. Since the amusement park cannot control what clothing the riders wear, so the inside wall of a rotor has to have some sort of uh, rubbery material to ensure large enough mu s.